work and see another video in the IBM SPSS series of finding statistical analysis. In this video, we'll find scattered diagram and do some regression and correlation analysis in SPSS. For this video, I prepared the data set that we're going to be using and we're going to look at the effect of the pulse rate and the white blood cell count in the bodies there correlation between them, how strong, and so on. We're going to start by doing what we call a scalar diagram or a scalar graph, which shows me the relationship between them. So we're going to go to graphs, short folder, and we're going to look at scatter graph. We're going to look at simple scatter drag it as we did with the bar pie chart. Now we have to determine the x and y axis. So we're going to choose rate, drag it, and the y plot cell count as the y axis. Click on OK. And you will see the scatter diagram. And this can tell me that there is a linear correlation. Probably it's not that strong. We might have outliers. Any point that's far away from the rest of the data could be potential outliers. But how do we know all of this? Let's double click on the chart. Let's add the line of best fit. And let's add our graph and the equation, the regression equation. So we go to elements and fit line total. Just make sure you choose linear because looking, we're looking at linear regression. You can see right away it adds the line of best fit, using the equation, and it also gives us R square. So you can see that that's the slope 0.1. The one intercept is 0.66, and this is R square, which is 0.637 or 63.7% of white blood cell count are determined by the pulse rate. The other, or the remaining 47, 37%, are due to other factors. So let's just carry the diagram, and you can modify it similar to what we did with the R pie chart. You can change the colors of the dots. You can change the scale. For information how to do that, watch the bar pie chart video. Now, let's assume we don't want to find the scatter diagram. Let's go and find only the coefficient of correlation, or it's called the Pearson coefficient of correlation. For that, click on Analyze, Correlate, and Y value. We're going to add both variables, so let's select like both of them and add them. And of course, you can click on options to see some of the statistics that you want. We're just interested in the Pearson coefficient of correlation, so make sure this is checked. And click on OK. And it will give us cross matrix, the pulse rate. Coefficient of correlation with the white blood cells 0.798. Same over here, of course, the pulse rate was the pulse rate is one. The same with the white blood cell count is itself. So the only one interested in is this value over here, which is the basic coefficient of correlation between the pulse rate and the white blood cell count. It's 0.798. Considered strong positive linear correlation. And we knew that from the diagram over here. Now, if we take this value here and we square it, we should get the value over here for R square. Let's go back to our data set. And this time, let's find the regression equation. So we're going to click on Analyze. And instead of Correlate, we're going to look at Regression. 
and curve estimation. Finally, we're going to look at the regression analysis, which gives me the equation of the regression. And you will see that we can find even the scatter diagram and the Pearson coefficient of correlation all in one shot. So we're going to go to analyze regression and choose curve estimation. Now here, we have to choose carefully the dependent and independent variable. So let's choose this as the white blood cell count depends on the pulse rate. And you can check if you want the plot models, which means this would give me the scatter diagram with the line of breast fit to include the constant of the equation. And of course, it's linear. It's none of the others. And if you want to display the analysis of variation table, the ANOVA table, click on OK. And you will see that it gives me description of the model that we're using, that it's a linear dependent variable, case processing summary. It gives me the summary of the variables, no missing value, no zero. But more importantly, it gives me that. It gives me R, which we saw before, 0.798. R square, which also we saw before, 0.637. And give me the adjusted R square. This is for multiple regression. Give me the analysis of variation which allows me to do um, F-test on the model. And of course, it gives me the T-test and the P-value if I want to also uh, test on the coefficients on the slope. And it gives me the scatter diagram, the line of best fit, and shows me that these are the observed. This is the box or the estimated values. So the regression option gives me the scatter diagram as well as the coefficient of correlation and the analysis that I need for doing any hypothesis test on the model. And another thing, it gives me the slope and the y-intercept. So pulse rate and the y-intercept. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and look for other interesting videos on SPSS, Excel, and some lecture notes.